morning, YouTubers. This morning I'm in South Carolina in a beautiful part of the country. I'm actually in a bus slash truck junkyard. And I'm here for Luke Palioka. Some of you know him as Lead Sled Arts. He, as you know, has a Greyhound bus, which he's going to be converting into an art studio. And he needs some pieces. He actually needs the back windows which is right back there. That's Bill. Bill is related to uh, Luke. He probably told you we make YouTube videos, right? Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it up on the <laughs> YouTube or something. That's right. So you introduce yourself. I'm, I'm Bill Daly. Uh, best friends with Luke's uh, uncle, I guess it would be. But fortunately, that's Chip, and he passed away yeah. about a half a year ago. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. I heard so about that. I told Luke. Was he the one that had the bus, right? Yeah, Chip owned the bus. He okay. had it in New York. New York. And he had it hauled up to Maine for Luke to set it up as a studio. For I remember his, that. His artwork. He's I've a, seen it he's up an there. Artist. He's a real great artist. It's leadsledart.com. That's L-E-D. Yep. S-L-E-D art.com. He's actually doing a, a drawing for me. He, he, he did my Corvette. Oh, okay. 71 vet. Well, I probably have a picture of it in my kitchen then because I've got be. his calendar. He told me to do a kind of cover for me on this. He's going to do my 70 Subaru van. It's been oh. souped up to have a 67 Volkswagen drive. Okay. And I'm uh, almost done with it now. That's They're sweet. Ready for cruise nights in a few more months. Yeah. All so right. I'm looking forward to some of Luke's artwork on that. Well, I've got a generator there, and I, what I might do is uh, just roll it off so that it sits on level ground right here, rather than have it, although I'm not sure if it'd matter if it's sitting at that much of an angle, because the oil's still going to be... It's not too bad, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I might do is just, like you said, pull up a little, and then yeah, back, back up a little bit kind of get these tires right about this level yep. spot. Yeah, back up a little more. And okay. Um, Say that again, because I'm going to put you right on YouTube. Uh, well, not right on YouTube, but eventually. Oh boy, eventually. So, yeah. you go right ahead and talk yeah. to you crew to grab all yeah. that yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been cobbing up stuff like this all the time. I got the, uh, the old Flexo go-kart from 1965-1966 that had the Tecumseh three-horse uh, two-cycle motor on it. Yeah. Me and my brother burned it out eventually. All right. We put a Honda 350 motorcycle engine onto the thing. Okay. And uh, now we still got the thing. You know, well, we're almost 60 years later. Yeah. And uh, it, we cut a set of studded tires to ride on frozen lakes. Uh huh. Since it goes, it'll go 100 miles an hour. You, uh, you need a lot of space. You still live in Maine. Well, I, I, I'm in Connecticut, but uh, Luke is in Maine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we, we got frozen lakes there, but it, the problem is they're dumping so much salt in the, on the roads these days, it's making yeah. so the lakes don't freeze too much. Right. Yeah, we, uh, the areas that we used to be able to ride a lot uh, are hardly frozen anymore. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Huh. And uh, the, the other thing I'm working on now is uh, Something I did 50 years ago, I'm, I'm restoring it for a second time, which is the 70 Subaru with the 67 Volkswagen engine uh, drivetrain. It, it originally had 360 two cycle engine. So you're, I, I know the Subarus had that, and you, you're talking about an air cooled Volkswagen. Air cooled, okay. yeah, air cooled like Volkswagen. Yeah, it was an air cooled Subaru. But I'm now converted to an air-cooled Volkswagen. Yeah. And I did the conversion 50 years ago, and I drove the thing around a lot until I got my Corvette. Yeah. And then I kind of parked the Subaru. It ended up being a lock car. We used to go out back and uh, put ammo and, and guns and rifles and targets and all sorts of stuff and go out back shooting and then and haul the empty brass back with it and uh, do some re reloading. What's that? Will we need a ladder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get to the top, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need both of these ladders. Okay. So, so that's my little project that I'm working on right now is to get it ready for a cru cruise night. I'm just going to turn the camera around. We'll just keep chitter chattering while we walk around the bus. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, the, uh, the Subaru is so good now that with one person in it, it can actually pull a wheelie. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Back in the old days, you know, they used to make some Subaru.
Okay, YouTubers, you're sitting on top of the generator. So I'm going to move the generator, which means I'm going to be moving you. And uh, we'll get you fired up. Get some power back here. Let's see what we're doing. I'm going to cut you off for now, but uh, I'll pick up more on this story later. I don't see this fact. Huh? I don't see this fact. Oh, uh, okay, right okay. <laughs> okay. underneath it a little bit but the problem is it, it possibly glued down to the next panel well, it's also bolted right under here bolts, bolts all right of these there. bolts are holding it in oh it's a, oh those are like rivets except they're bolts hold that? okay is this thing still running we're doing this for yeah we're doing this for loot okay. the parts are always the best part okay <laughs> in there too possibly. Yeah. I think like you said that's glued. It's pretty hard to get loose. Yeah. Yeah we have to ask the experts here how, how they did that. Yeah I'll take my camera back. Thank you. Thank you. Luke's uncle Bill took all the rivets out, drilled them out, and punched them out. All the way across this side of the bottom and up that up through there and down the middle. We still have to take all the rivets out of the other side and over up the other side and lift this whole piece out. Uh, the man that owns the junkyard came back here and I asked him because he's had a fella back here while I go talked about he could take this out for us. And I asked him what he charged us and he told us and I said, you know what? It's worth that much for me at my age to go home now, get me a hamburger along the way. So, him and Bill's up at the office talking about the details, and uh, I'm going to load up and uh, we'll mosey uh, back home. So, appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. Uh, at some point, you'll see this going either to my house or to Luke's house, and uh, life will be good. Let's catch you next time. Bye-bye.
See the road down there we just came from? Hmm. That's the kind of road that made NASCAR drivers come to life right there. Old Moonshine Road. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm about ready for a Big Mac. I think I think it might be a good day to eat a Big Mac on the way home. <laughs>